So this week's 30 year fixed rate has actually gone down a little bit. It's down to 3.09%. It was down like what, from three, last week, it was 3.14%. Yeah, I was going to say it didn't go down much. Ooh, saving hey, a half a penny on listen, that puppy. That, that's it's still, <laughs> it's still lower than it was pre pandemic. Oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That's amazing. So while <clears throat> affordability is still an issue uh, with the rise in prices, um, you know, rates are pretty low, so it's kind of offsetting uh, a lot of that stuff. Um, here's a, uh, all right, so let, let's talk about rents. According to Ren, Redfin, uh, nope, I'm going to housing sales. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> according, according to Redfin, a third of homes that went under contract sold with, or, or sold in the first went, week. I'm sorry, no. A third of homes listed uh, went under contract in the first seven days. Yep. That, that's pretty strong. Uh, yeah, that's that's really strong. And, and that gives you an indication of the limited inventory that's out there. As, as soon as you put these things up there. And just so everyone knows, that isn't due to Zillow's uh, debacled algorithm. Yeah, which I'm really <laughs> excited to talk about a little bit later yeah. on. Yeah. I, I, I love to see things selling quickly. I've actually just closed on a home that I've owned for 21 years yesterday, closed on it yesterday. I had it as an Airbnb and you drink to that. Uh, yeah. I've got my, my hot tea cause it's a cold day. I've got to have hot tea. Um, yeah. 21 years. I had that house, had it as an Airbnb, a successful short-term rental, very successful short-term rental, but it had gone up so high in value that I had to take the cash and run. Yeah. So I'm doing my first 1031 exchange. I'm excited about that too. Excellent. We'll have to do a show on 1031s and yeah. how they fun, work. Fun fact about 1031s, you're really not, you, they weren't made for people to use. They were made for uh, corporations using industrial buildings. That, really? was the, that was the true intent of them. Of course, Jonathan would know that. Yeah. <laughs> well, looks good for the goose. That's right. <laughs> I'd be exactly able to take right. advantage of the, the tax rules that the government puts out. Right. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I brought that up is because that house you know, I, I had an offer on that house within 12 hours. Wow. That's not the one I accepted. The one <laughs> I accepted was actually a week later. And um, I'm really, it's just amazing the amount of people that went through that house. I'll bet you in the first seven days, I'll bet you I had 30 showings. Now, did you get an over asking price offer? I did not. You did not. You I did not. You took the asking I, price I, offer. I, yeah. And, and, and I'm, I was good with that because to me, I didn't, I was surprised well, it sold it, for what it sold for you the priced first it place. A little higher than you thought. I anyway. did, yeah. I did, but uh, yeah, it it worked out great. The appraisal came in no problems, and mm -hmm. um, and that's another thing that people have to worry about when they're pricing these houses. At you know to try and 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 work with that one third under contract uh, within the first seven days, you've got to price it right for it to sell because things mm -hmm. are chilling just a tad. Yes. Um, not dropping, just chilling. Yeah, there's a difference. Yeah, they're they're just not as fast or as hot as it was. Right. You know, it's like it's like turning your oven down from 400 degrees to to 350. It's still hot. Yeah. <laughs>